Woman's Day, author Lucy Maud Montgomery and her difficult life far beyond Green Gables. To wrap up this International Women's Day, we turn to author Lucy Maud Montgomery, whose reach is undeniably international. People come from around the world to soak up the Prince Edward Island culture that gave birth to Anne of Green Gables, Montgomery's famous, fictitious creation. Now Montgomery herself is being honored in a Heritage Minute TV spot, one that doesn't flinch from her difficult life. Here's CTV's Todd Battis. What do I like? I like open fires, moonlit nights, Chatty letters, rainy days. I like daydreaming. An intimate 60 second glimpse into the woman behind one of Canada's great literary characters. I love this colorful little island of ruby, emerald, and sapphire. Her masterpiece was Anne of Green Gables, but in this latest Heritage Minute, Lucy Maud Montgomery, the author of so many stories, is the star. Every word that you hear in the minute comes from her personal journals. Um, so every word that is said is personal because it comes from her directly. Yet often my dark moods come. I possess body and soul by this depression. Montgomery struggled silently, penning expressions of pain in diaries. She would pace her Toronto home far from her beloved Prince Edward Island, lamenting loss and fearing the future before ultimately taking her own life. But what the world knows of her is Anne, the fun, fierce, fiery redhead who meets challenges head on. We like to be able to tell the story of someone um, that has gone through something and has managed to get out from the other side and being triumphant. I made Anne real. I gave her my love of nature, my love of books, and my childhood dreams. Facing repeated rejection, Lucy Maud persevered until published. The world responded. Anne of Green Gables went to print in 1908. It would appear in 36 languages, selling 50 million copies. Lifted off the page, it has long been a success on screen and the stage, inspiring audiences, empowering girls. Now more than a century after Anne first appeared, it's time for the story of the woman behind her to be told. Todd Battis, CTV News, Halifax. That's it for us tonight. I'm John Orlikman for Lisa LaFlamme and everyone in the National Newsroom. Thanks for watching. Good night. CTV National News, Canada's number one newscast.